A short time ago, I did a video featuring this Roll-Eye camera, and I thought it'd be a fun thing to go to a local car show and use this classic camera to photograph some classic cars. And it was a great idea until I got back home and reviewed some of the video. And, well, quite frankly, there was a problem. The problem was the camera had picked up the ambient music that they were playing at this car show. And because of that, I had fears of my video being flagged for inappropriate use of music, either a copyright claim or a copyright strike. Therefore, I needed to come up with a tool that would remove all the background noise and keep my speech, my narration, through this video. And the program I found worked beyond my wildest imagination. Let's turn to the computer and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. The software I found is called Descript and it is absolutely amazing. I know this isn't my usual kind of video, it's not photographic instruction, but quite a few of you who watch my channel also are creators here on YouTube and you might have need of a similar function. This is absolutely amazing. Let me show this to you. Now we're going to go into right here. I've got this thing called Go, and we're going to retrieve this project. Now again, I've already loaded this in and let's click this over here to bring this up and click onto the video and what goes on. We're going to turn this off and now we are going to play this video right here so that you can hear exactly what was going on and I'll probably get demonetized on this video because of this. Now it did, as you can see right here, put the transcript down. That's really one of the main functions of this software, this Descript software, is that it puts a full transcription for you. But let's go ahead and let's play this video so that you can hear what's actually going on. So let me do this and let's click play, which is somewhere on here. Actually, we'll just hit this. See this here? The SS. Did you ever hear about the snail that decided he wanted a car and he went to the manufacturer and he said, I want S's all over it. Now that's enough. Let's bring this back to the beginning. And what we are going to do, if I can grab this, there we are, bring this all the way back to the beginning. And what we are going to do is we are going to, we're going to click on this video and then we are going to turn on what they call studio sound. And the idea behind studio sound is it is to make the audio sound just like it was recorded in a studio, not like recorded in the field. So I've got this on and let's play this same video back and you're going to be fooled at the beginning because it's going to be totally silent, but hold on. See this here? The SS. Did you ever hear about the snail that decided he wanted a car and he went to the manufacturer and he said, I want S's all over it. Now, let me back up to the beginning of this. Right at the beginning. And I'm going to switch this studio sound off and on so you can hear exactly what's going on. And I'm going to turn my speaker up full because we're going to listen through the sound from the, through the IMAX so you can hear exactly what's going on. I'm going to turn the studio sound off at first. See this here? The SS. Did you ever hear about the snail that decided he wanted a car and he went to the manufacturer and he said, I want S's all over it. And they said, why do you want S's all over your race car? He says, because when they see it goes zipping through town, they're going to say, look at that S car go. This is absolutely insane. I could not believe how well this worked to remove this audio. And in the video, which I'll put a link to right up here somewhere, you... I, I use this in just about all the outdoor scenes to remove any idea that there was music playing in the background, any, any chance at all that I might be demonetized or get a copyright claim or a copyright strike on my video. This Descript worked amazingly well. Hey, if you like what you're seeing so far, do me a favor, click that like button down below. It helps the algorithm show that you do like my content and you do appreciate this channel and the content that I'm bringing for you. You can also click subscribe. Just remember that the focus of this channel, Vintage Insight Photography, is photography. We do film photography, we do digital photography, we'll do landscape photography, street photography, some experimental stuff. It's just having a good time. Anybody who enjoys working with a camera would like this channel. So let's back up and look at some of the other 
files that I have uploaded. I just uploaded the audio on this and I'll play this for you so you can hear what's going on. I recorded this in this room and this is not the best room yet for any type of audio recording. I still have some pretty hard surfaces in here so I get some room echo. So we're gonna play this and I'm gonna switch the studio sound off and on for you. It's not an etched in stone number that exists. The, it's a, more of a guideline of where to get the minimum threshold exposure so that you have some type of shadow detail. Most films, ASA or ISO, is rated on that threshold speed, right at that borderline where if you shoot it any faster, any less exposure, your shadows are gone. In this circumstance, this doesn't work perfect. There is some digital artifacts that come through. So through the studio sections, sitting in this room, how I did that was I actually just separated out the audio, uploaded the audio, ran the studio sound effect on this so that the audio be cleaner than it was, used that audio, and then mixed it with the actual live audio in the room. And I brought up a little louder this processed audio and down a little quieter the original audio mixed them together and it helped hide those digital artifacts i got rid of about 90 percent of them doing that and i was very happy with the results another fun feature that this descript tool can do is it can create an artificial voice that is you you simply upload audio file, the cleaner the better. It needs about 15 minutes of pure audio. That doesn't mean five minutes of talking and 10 minutes of silence. It means 15 minutes of your voice. So let's look at what they call overdub and how we can type in words and it'll say them in your own voice. So here I am in my projects right here. Let's make sure we're on Descript. And we're going to come over here this blue and we're going to click a new project and we're going to call this uh, YouTube overdub test. Now I am doing this absolutely live. I have done this type of thing before, but this is going to be a totally new project that we're creating right on the spot. So we are going to just start typing stuff. And I'm going to be quiet while I'm typing this so that you know it's not recording my voice in any way. Okay, so we have that. Now we're going to select as a speaker. We are going to select me, and this is the one that I've created. Now it's going to take it a minute to do this, and I see I missed the T on this. So I am going to come up here, and I'm going to add that, and let it do its thing and it's going to create a voice. It takes it a few seconds to do this. And then we will hit play and we will see how well it does. Let's hit, let's hit play and see if it works yet. Oh, it's still got, let's come down here. There we are, now we've got it. So, and it says right here, it says overdub contains gibberish for words outside your thousand word vocabulary limit. limit. So, we are going to now play. This is a test for my great YouTube audience. Gibber them how this overdub feature works. Let's do that again. Let's bring this back to the beginning. This is a test for my great YouTube audience. Gibber them how this overdub feature works. So if you're recording a video and you forget to say a line, you could type in the line that you forgot to say and it would insert it for you. And you could use some B-roll or a J-cut or an L-cut so that no one would know this happened. 
Now, I don't think you could do um, uh, the entire reading of War and Peace and people would think it's you actually reading. There is a bit of robotic feature to this, but if you mispronounce a name or mispronounce the, the place where you are or leave out a word or transpose a couple words, if you have basically verbal dyslexia like I have often, this feature would help out greatly. So leave a comment below and let me know what you think about Descript and how it works. Another thing that I've done is I have a link in the description and I'll try to remember to put in a pinned comment also a link to this Descript program that you can download it and test it out for yourself. That link is an affiliate link, so I will get a small commission if you choose to purchase Descript if you think it's something that you can use. But I was absolutely so impressed with this software, I had to take a minute just to cut this video and share it with you. I'm just about to upgrade to the full version, to the pro version of Descript, so I can remove that gibberish. But I wanted to leave it in for this video demo so that you could see that I'm not faking this out in any way. This is a real test of how well this software works. Quite frankly, Descript saved my butt in the video I did of this Rolleye 35 camera. And I've got that video linked for you right here. And I've got another video right here that you might enjoy as well. I'm James Fisher. This is Vintage Insight Photography reminding you to stay focused. Thank you.